What are the questions we should be asking here, Winnie, specifically when it comes to companies like AT&T? Right, these companies have to be asking themselves this right now. Why were they making the payments to Cohen and was everything above board? We've heard a variety of answers. AT&T says it was looking for insights into the new administration. Uh, the Korea Aerospace Company has said it was looking for advice from Cohen on local accounting rules. We haven't heard a lot from Novartis yet about their full explanation, and we certainly haven't heard a lot from Vexelberg-linked company Columbus Nova. These companies were hoping to get some kind of insight about the administration. Uh, some of them have said they weren't lobbying, so what exactly were they doing and why were they paying Trump's lawyer, personal lawyer, Michael Cohen? And he wasn't even registered as a lobbyist anyway, right? Because there are certain rules around that. You have to spend 20% of your time right. lobbying high-powered officials on behalf of the company or the client. Right. So uh, Michael Cohen, Renaissance man, I don't know how to describe this guy. We have recently learned about his taxi business. We've learned about his hotel business. We've learned he had a real estate business. Uh, and we've learned that he was doing everything from contracts uh, for a porn star to uh, advising uh, Sean Hannity on real estate to uh, taking care of another problem for Elliot Broidy, also with a, a, an affair with another person. And now we know he was taking money from companies for something. He wasn't registered as a lobbyist. Admittedly, the rules are very specific there. We don't have any indication he needed to register as a lobbyist yet. Uh, but we don't know exactly what he was promising or what these companies thought they were getting from him. Does AT&T have a legal moat? Everything we've heard from them so far has just been, well, there was nothing you know, that wasn't above board. We made some payments. We were looking for some advice from somebody obviously in a position to give us some advice. Right. I think the company is scrambling now to understand probably who in the company authorized these payments. It's a small amount of money for that company, I have to admit, what we now know. Uh, and the company has said that it was paying others for this kind of insight. I'd love to know who those others were and what it was looking for. We talk about political intelligence sometimes, which is a slightly different thing than lobbying. This is the kind of thing where companies are uh, trying to find out uh, how an administration is leaning, what it's thinking about something, and hopefully going to use that in order to um, better its position, either in issues before the government or in um, a legislation. Uh, and in this case, of course, we know that AT&T, for example, had a big merger pending that it was going to wait for the Justice Department. It was hoping to get through. The Justice Department ultimately did challenge that. So they had a lot of reason to be very interested in what the Trump administration was thinking internally.